Psalms 106 of verses 8, the Bible said, Nevertheless, he has saved us for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. Uh, Dylan reminded us earlier that some folks, uh, amen, glory to God, are going to have a Super Bowl fever. They're going to have a Super Bowl, uh, amen, fever today. Everybody getting prepared, not everybody. Amen. A lot of folks getting prepared for a Super Bowl. But let me tell you about a supernatural God. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Can I tell you in Revelation 5 verses 8, God gives us a description of him answering prayer. He shows us how prayer looks in heaven and how it's going to appear and look on earth when he answers. Revelation 5 and 8, the Bible said in the word of the Lord, amen, there's golden vials. Vial is just a word. In, 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 in King James, it means a bowl. Somebody say up in heaven, oh, there's a bowl. It's a golden bowl. It's a big bowl. And God said it's filled with the incense and odors and the prayers of the faith. Amen. Of the saints. Somebody shot this bowl in heaven. In Revelation 5 and 8 is filled with the prayers of faith. It's filled with praise. That's the incense of those that belong to God. Oh, and by Revelation chapter 8 verse 4 and 5. Amen. God says he takes all those prayers of his people that's in that golden vial in that big bowl. Amen. And he causes an angel to take a censer off of the altar. Amen. Amen. And they tip that bowl over and fire comes down into the earth. There'll be sounds of thunder and lightning. That's Revelation 8 verse 4 and 5. Oh, back to verses 8 of verses, or chapter 5 of Revelation 5. Somebody shout, there's a big bowl in heaven. It's filled with the prayers of saints. Anybody in here been washed in the blood? That makes you a saint then. Somebody say, God's been collecting your prayers in his big Super Bowl. And somebody say, if you'll keep praying, if you'll keep doing what God said to do, if you'll keep doing what's right, amen, glory to God and resist the wrong. God says, here's what I'll do. I'll tip that bowl. And like fire, there's the Holy Ghost. Will the answers come down? Look at your neighbor and say, you didn't know heaven had a Super Bowl, did you? That right, it is. People looking for a Super Bowl. But let me tell you about a super God. A super God. Oh, folks is looking for a Super Bowl. Let me preach to you about a super book. Somebody say a super book. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And friend God, the God of this super book, he's telling somebody body today. I'm not a man. You don't have to worry about me lying. I can't deceive you. I am absolute unadulterated truth. If I said it, I'm going to do it. If I speak it, he said, I'm going to make it good. Numbers 23, 19. Somebody say he's going to make it good. Somebody say he's going to turn them around too and make them good. It's been doing the bad. I believe it with all my heart. Somebody say he's going to make it good. Sister Manning, you were singing that. I began to hear this word, and I'm going to say it straight to you. God said he's going to make it good. There's an hour coming when all your family is going to worship with you. Every one of them is going to sing. Every one of them is going to exalt. And God said, I'm going to take all the chaos. I'm going to take all the corruption. I'm going to take it all, saith God, and my grace is going to swallow it up. Just as Moses' rod swallowed up the two rods of the witches in the courts of Pharaoh, soon I will swallow up this witchcraft. Soon I will swallow up all the curses. Soon, says the Holy Ghost, I will swallow up all the evil one. Oh, yes, I will. Somebody shout, it's going to turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody say it's going to turn. It's going to turn. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Come here, Brother Matthew. I'm glad you come. But I had you on my heart this morning. So it weren't strange that I get to see you. Hallelujah. You just stand right there. It's the only place I'm taller than you at. Hallelujah. You're a tall man in the flesh, but God said for a long time now, you have felt like Zacchaeus in the spirit. You have felt so abused, misused, crushed, and crumbled, but God says it does not change my plans for you. 
And God says, don't you fret about nothing. You make steps with me. You make stops with me because I'm the God that ordains not only your steps but your stops. And God said, I've even ordained this stop. God says, do not look at what men did to you and what persons did to you. Don't hold it against them, says the Spirit of God, because I intervened for you. It was I that done it. It was me that allowed men to do what they did. Just as I allowed men to do to my only begotten son what they did, that he might be exalted. And behold, I say unto you, do not despise those who have despised you and that that was done against you and yours. God said, just like I said about my son through my prophet David, this is the Lord's doings. Let it be marvelous in your eyes. I have protected you and yours and my plan for your future in me has not changed, though it's been interrupted, but it's not been interrupted as much as it's been intervened. I intervene for you. I have protected you from things you know not of. I have kept you from things that you have no idea about. I have protected you that I might preserve you unto this hour. And that that has sought to stifle you and belittle you. Behold, I've given thee thy smooth stones and thy little sling as I gave to David. You shall defeat the Goliaths. You shall bring down the giants, says the Holy Ghost. Holy! Holy! Holy, 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 my God, my God. Holy. Somebody say he's going to make it good. Somebody say he's going to turn it around. Somebody say if you'll turn to him, he'll deliver you from the bad. He'll deliver you from the wicked. He'll deliver you from whatever the plot of hell is. Somebody shout hell's plot cannot compete with heaven's yes because if God said he's going to do something he's going to do it now somebody shout he needs our cooperation he needs our obedience we got to obey him we got to do what he tells us to do uh, if we're going to see him bring to fruition uh, and here's what somebody needs to know you need to keep doing uh, you need to be still and know he's God Psalms 46 and 10 uh, brother Marvin I got to make steps in faith sometimes the step of faith is a stand of faith we stand by faith 1 Corinthians 1 24 somebody shout sometimes in the walk of faith you got to stop you got to stand still hey man stop trying to do it yourself watch what God's going to do when you get still still don't mean uh, apathetic it don't mean filled with lethargy and, and at ease and being lazy come on somebody but it does require sometimes when you've done everything you know to do then you got to stand you got to have your loins girt about with truth uh, Ephesians 6 and verse 14 uh, and I'm telling you today no matter what the wicked word of hell hey man and plot against you and yours uh, God says if you'll make it God if you'll make your life mine if you'll follow me step by step and even stop by stop God said if you'll stand you'll see me do in your house do in your family do in your life do in your ministry do for you what you cannot do for yourself and by the way no one else could anyway amen except him Amen. Somebody say, turn it over. And he'll turn it around. Somebody lift your hands today and say, Lord, I'll turn it over. Somebody say, Lord, I'll turn them over. Somebody say, Lord, I'll turn it over. I turn them over. Say it again. I turn it over. I turn them over. And I say, Lord, here am I. I turn me over. I give me up. Somebody shout, my times are in his hand. Psalms 31, 15. Job 37 and 7 said, when man's hands are sealed, then he makes all men to know his work. Everybody hold up hands shut tight like that. God, my hands are sealed. Somebody say, these are hands that's done all they know to do. Somebody's even said, God, I just can't handle it no more. God says good now give it up to me that's the best place to be with your back against the wall and you ain't got nobody but him to turn to that's where God wants you that's where God makes mighty men amen out of common men that's where he makes mighty women out of common women when they realize God I've gone as far as I can go I can't do nothing else with it but God here I am I surrender it all I surrender them I surrender it I surrender me now open them sealed hands and somebody to say what I can't do with mine he's going to do by his oh welcome to a super God Sunday welcome to a super Holy Ghost I ain't talking about
about Superman. I ain't talking about the world Super Bowl, but I'm telling you there's a touchdown happening right here in the spirit this morning. Somebody, God's touching your soul. He's speaking to you this word, and he wants you to know he'll make you good if you'll just make it God. Make it God. In other words, God, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to stand. I'm going to stick with you. And you made that promise to me. If I'll make it God, if I'll stay with you, if i do what you, you're going to make it good. God, I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know how. Neither do you. Mary felt that way in Luke 134, Sister Janice. The angel said, you're going to have a baby. And she said, how? How's this going to happen? Seeing that I know not a man. The angel said, verses 35 of Luke 1, he said, the Holy Ghost is going to come on you. And the power of the highest is going to overshadow you. And the holy thing that will be conceived in your virgin womb and brought forth out of your virgin womb shall be called the Son of the Most High God. Somebody say, how? 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 Somebody's thinking, how in the world? Mm -mm. How in the kingdom? How? Somebody say, the Holy Ghost is how? The angel, the messenger. I'm no angel. Lynn will tell you. She's sitting right there. Ask her after the service. But I am his messenger today. And I've stood in the presence of God. And God told me to tell you by the Holy Ghost. It ain't going to make no sense. So don't try to figure it out on this side. Because you ain't going to figure it out when it happens. All you're going to be able to say is to God be the glory. You ain't even going to be able to explain it. You realize God's talking to you, Sister Brandon, about you and your house as well. God said you've went a long time. It's been a long time, but God said it is not too late. I'm going to turn them around. They're going to be completely different from the inside out. God said I'm going to blow your mind. I'm going to cause you to have to step back and your eyes are going to stretch. And you ain't even going to be able to find words to say of what God has done. But eventually you'll praise him. But it's going to keep you like David said it this way in Psalms 39. He said the Lord spake and it was dumb and are done. And he said I was dumb somebody say a dumb praise that means your mouth just wide open and you don't know what to say at first somebody say it's going to be that great it's going to be that mighty oh hallelujah somebody look at your neighbor and say I don't know if you can shout or not but God's talking to me that's why I'm shouting he's speaking to me somebody shout I'm taking it personal this morning yes hallelujah